Good afternoon. We are out here with the goats, with the mama goats, because we're pretty sure this is the day Elephant is going to have some kids. So we're pretty excited. She's not really wanting to come out of there, but she came. Hey Wes, why don't you back up a little bit? She She's came out for out. a minute. Oh, oh, fluid, 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 fluid. fluid. And there's part of her water sack is. Where is, where is the fluid? Over here. Come Part of her water sack is coming out, so we're pretty sure so, today's the day. So see that orange little oh. We should probably give her a little bit of space, but it is exciting. We'll keep you posted. <laughs> Kids are ready for the show. They set up chairs. gonna sit here until they're born? How many do you think there are? Triplets. Boys or girls? I said boy and girl. Two does and a buck? I said two bucks and one. What do you say, Jenny? Three bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we don't have to wait too long.
looking out there? I guess the first one made the face. <laughs>
As you guys saw, when Chris and I was at work, we got two new goats. This is super exciting. Elephant gave birth to two brand new does, and they are super strong. And I can't believe I missed it, but it was exciting. Hey, back up, back up, back up. Missy here is being a little bully. Hey. Behave. I think she feels threatened from Elephant's, Elephant's kids, and she's been a little bully to him, but I'm sure that's just hierarchy going. Uh, but they are healthy, they're nursing. Super excited. I can't believe that the children got to watch the birth. What a blessing. What a blessing for them to be able to learn where goats come from I mean what what a great experience for them to the experience that life birth who I don't know many kids that get to experience that and I am super excited for them I ended up rigging up this tarp tent for them this area is the winter paddock for the goats and I planted the cover crop just like behind me um, about a week after I did the goat area and it has not taken off like the goat area so what I did is we brought the kids and goats down here when Missy delivered um, that way the, the children could hang out with them and just get familiar with um, the kids and children, so that way they can be more a little bit more friendlier. Um, here are Missy's kids. They're a week and a half years old, and they are huge. Comparing them to elephants' babies, they're probably double in size. It's amazing how fast they grow. Um, Kiko goats are really hardy, and not a lot of maintenance, and this is why I chose this breed for our homestead, and so far it's working out great. Uh, two great births, both twins, um, and no problems giving birth and accepting their kids. Um, I, a lot of other breeds, you know, first time moms usually lose a baby here and there, and or they um, reject reject their babies because they don't know how to mother so this is super awesome I am super pumped this one is so cool it has so all of them are white except for this one and it has like a nice black ration stripe down its spine and then it has some brown in it um, we got two does well we got three does and one buck out of uh, our kids this year <coughs> Oh, it's okay. It's okay. So, that is awesome. We can register the does as 50% Kiko. Uh, Lloyd is registered as a purebred, and our missing elephant aren't registered. Uh, we kind of got burned um, by the breeder when we purchased them. He was supposed to register them as 50% Kikos. Um... But he didn't, he never did it, and then he ended up going out of goat business, goat farming. Um, so, because of that, um, we have to start from the bottom, and these does can be registered as 50%. If Missy and Elephant were registered as 50%, we could register these ones as 75. It's crazy. So many different numbers. Um, it's definitely not like breeding dogs purebred purebred no it's, it's a purebred it starts with New Zealand purebred 92 point something and then it goes down to uh, 85 75 and 50 so I did not know goat breeding and goat farming with Kikos when it comes to purebred was a little difficult but managing them and taking care of them 
is super easy. I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, Shyla and Drona did a great job filming when I was at work. I'm super excited to bring you guys along for the journey. I missed it. I saw a bunch of pictures and I am super excited to be here now and watching them just walk around. They're doing so good. They're peeing and pooping. They're eating. So this is awesome. I appreciate you guys watching this and you guys will see them grow up. And please hit that subscribe button, like, and share. See you guys around. God bless. Machete, machete, machete called, machete called the, um